This morning, it is a 16 vote difference between you and your opponent, um, Ms. Caban. Are you declaring victory at this time? As it stands now, we are 16 votes ahead to be the Democratic nominee for District Attorney of Queens County. But here's the thing. On June 25th, I knew that there were 6,000 outstanding affidavits, absentee ballots, and I knew that you could have to declare every single vote. Every single valid vote needs to be counted, and you need to follow the law. And so with all those outstanding votes, it was too premature to declare victory on, on election night for her. So we wanted to go back and see the paper, and as it stands out, about 2,000 affidavits were outstanding at the end of the day, and about 28 of them were objected to by my opponent. And you need to follow the law. You need to make sure that everybody's voice is heard mm -hmm. and that the county of Queens truly has the district attorney that was elected by the people. Okay, so you're going to court on Tuesday for 114 votes. Why that number? Because it gets confusing when you have 2,000 uncounted ballots, but you're going to argue 114 in court. What is that about? So I want to be clear. There is about 2,000 affidavits that people come to the poll and they fill it out and they say, I'm a Democrat. The problem was a vast majority of those affidavits were filled out by people that were not Democrats. And in a Democratic primary, one needs to be a Democrat to vote. Six months prior, they have to change their party. Yes, they, they have to change their party. It's not six months, but yes, they have to change it uh, previously, or they can register if they have never been registered before. But at the end of the day, out of the 2,000 affidavits, the Caban campaign said 28 of them are valid. And we said, no, in that bucket, there are technical difficulties with those particular affidavits. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to count some of them, you can't cherry pick the ones that you know voted for you. You have to pick all of them in that bucket, go to court, and let the judge decide. So look, Tiffany Caban's supporters have alleged voter suppression, right? They're saying that the Democratic officials that backed you during the campaign threw out some of those ballots. Um, and a consultant for your campaign has accused your opponent of suppressing the black votes. So there's a lot of accusations going back and forth right now. So I don't know if they're uh, objecting to, I don't know if they're saying it's suppression. I think we're the ones saying that when it came to Southeast Queens votes, the Caban campaign said these are not valid. And there was no Southeast Queens votes that, that anyone should have said are invalid, and especially when they cherry-picked only ones from the districts that voted for her. So when it came to the Southeast Queens uh, ballots, they started objecting. But are you accusing her campaign of, suppress, of, um, of suppressing the black vote? We're accusing them of doing that. And in, in the room, you know, we have attorneys, they have attorneys, they have representatives, we have representatives. And you need to understand. But on what basis? Because when we were going through the ballots, the only ones they started to object to were the ones in Southeast Queens. And those districts voted heavily in my favor. And so you can't just cherry pick votes that you feel are good for you. You know, this is the problem. You have people saying, you know, fraud is happening, election fraud. I want everyone to understand that's watching here today. There were 2,000 affidavits that were questionable. Mm -hmm. Only 28 of them were chosen by the Caban campaign to say that they should be valid. We picked all the rest in that bucket of votes to go to the court tomorrow and figure out which one is valid. What do you think, excuse me, what do you think about this in terms of the democratic process here? What does it say about the party, right? It's a razor thin margin here. People have said you were too institutionalized and, and, and too ingratiated into the community. But what does this say now about the democratic party? I think that this is a problem for the party. I think that we need to have faith in our government. And I think with all of the negative accusations that are happening, by the way, out of thin air, just totally out of thin air. And remember, this is a candidate who is running for the district attorney, the chief prosecutor of the borough of Queens. And we need to make sure that the facts are out there. We cannot use, use anything we want on the internet anywhere we want to make sure that we have political purposes that are fulfilled. We need to make sure that we follow the facts and follow the law. That is the responsibility of our Democratic Party, and we can do better. Understood. We're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for coming in. We'll see how all this plays out throughout the week. We also did reach out to the Caban campaign for their comment and to have them on our show as well. We're waiting to hear back.